Hello, hi. Uh, today I will show you in this video how to fix um, if you are getting no signals on your screen or uh, if you connected your computer and it's lighting up but is but you know getting anything on the screen and sometimes it does say uh, no signal on the screen itself so what you need to do so I will turn this PC on right now and uh, is the PC is turning on but you can see there is nothing on the screen yeah there is nothing on the screen so when you turn the PC on and when you can't see anything on the screen so the first thing you need to check is like uh, is your computer is responding to do that so you need to check on your keyboard so there is a num lock so if I press this and if you can see the lights coming on and off so it's been there is no wrong with the computer the computer is responding you need to check the back cable so it's mean there is there's no problem with the computer so if I turn this PC around so you can see uh, in this PC um, the cables of the monitor is been connected with motherboard but this computer have a graphic card and if you, your computer PC have a graphic card and if you connect your either VGA cable or if you connect your uh, DVI cable whatever you receive with the computer if you connect here it will not respond whenever the computer have graphic card your own board uh, it get disabled so what I will do in this case now I will try to take this VGA cable out and plug uh, into the graphic card okay some scenario it will show you the screen if not then you can turn the PC off and turn it back on again and see if it's working uh, sometimes you have you can have either a different cable or you can either have a different graphic card so for example if you sometime you might get a DVI cable so it's gonna go on a DVI side or DVI port on the graphic card and you can see the screen is responding and sometime uh, some people connect their uh, computer uh, with the, the like a TV or a, or a HDMI monitor so uh, what I will do I will put this HDMI connector inside the graphic card yeah there you go so if if you connected uh, on graphic card and you are getting this light it's been something wrong with the cables or the back of the cables and then if you change the cables it will resolve the issue but for example um, if you turn the PC on you're still getting no signals and this light is not turning on and off so it's mean there is something wrong on the PC itself so what you need to do on, on this point if your PC is not uh, if this num light is not responding or is not turning on and off so then you need to open your PC and check if the cables are connected properly or uh, the graphic card is in properly uh, and and secondly then you can check the RAMs so to do to do that to do that uh, you need a one Phillips screwdriver to open the, the side panel some panels have four screws on these sides and some computer have only two screws on the back so this particular computer have four screws on this side so what I will do I will first uh, whenever you try to open the side panel so we recommend you to turn the PC off and take the power it out from the back of the PC now I will use the drill to, to make this process faster okay 
Now we open the PC and you can see this is the graphic card. There is two RAM sticks. There it's this is the power lead which is connected with motherboard uh, which is called 24 pin power lead. There is four pin power lead which is connected also with the motherboard. So if your PC is not responding and if you're getting no signals, so we recommend you to first initially make sure all the cables are in properly and we're gonna take out the RAM and put it back in. So, um, so I will just firmly push it in and see all the cables are in properly. I will just push the graphic card. To check the RAM, what uh, you need to open, there is two clips, there is two clips, uh, if you can see them, so there is a clip on the top and there is a clip on the bottom. So uh, to take the RAM out, you need to push this clip and you can easily take this memory stick out. You can see on the middle of the memory stick, there is a hole. And if you take this one memory out and now try to turn the PC on and see if it's work. So I give you an example. For example, you turn the PC on and the PC didn't work. And then you need to do exactly the same thing. You need to take the, the second memory out. Again, using that clip. So you, you can open this clip. The second memory is out also now in in this point without the memory the computer will not respond so you need to put the first one back in so i will put this first one back in so uh, i put the memory on place i am going to push i'm going to push the memory in properly when you see the when you hear this click sound it means it's fitted in properly so turn the PC on and see if you can getting anything on the screen. But again, you need to make sure your monitor cable or a TV cable is actually connected with the graphic card. If you have a graphic card fitted in your PC and if, if it is working, then you need to turn the PC back off and then put the second memory back again. So I will put this back again and then you need to turn the PC back on. If your computer didn't respond or didn't turn on the second time, so it's mean one of the memory sticks are not working. So you need to again take the second one out and turn the PC back on and see if it's working. So you basically in this case, you, you can find out if there is a problem with your memory stick. And then you can contact your suppliers and tell them to you um, there is a problem and they can either send you a replacement uh, memory sticks or you can buy a new one most likely it will resolve the issue if it's still you're not getting any signal on your pc so it's best to contact the like a seller or a system provider uh, so they can help you out it can be a problem with the, either the graphic card it can be a problem with the processor it, it can be then it, it can be anything so a uh, hopefully this video will help you and if you like the video, please uh, subscribe our channel. Thank you.